This video will cover an introduction to the ninth edition of MLA Citation Style. We'll focus on the Works Cited page. In-text citations in the body of your paper correspond to citations in the Works Cited page found at the end of your paper. While in-text citations contain the author's last name and page number, the citations in the Works Cited page contain more information. The first item in an in-text citation should match the first item in the full citation in the Works Cited page. Anyone reading your paper should be able to easily see the sources you used by first looking at an in-text citation and then finding the corresponding citation in the Works Cited page. Each source that is cited as an in-text citation must appear in your Works Cited page, and each source that is cited in your Works Cited page must appear as an in-text citation in your paper. First, let's identify where you will find the information needed for your Works Cited citations. For a journal article, information needed for your citations is typically found at the top or the bottom of the article. You'll need the title of the article, the author or author's names, the journal title, which is the name of the journal where the article is published, and you'll need the year of publication, and the volume number and issue number. These numbers show exactly when the article was published. The volume number always comes before the issue number, and sometimes there is no issue number. You'll also need to include the page numbers and the DOI if your source has one. DOI stands for Digital Object Identifier, and it's a unique identifier specific to each article. This information can be found in both the PDF of the article and the database entry for the article. Journal article citations follow this format. Author last name, comma, first name. If there are two authors, include a comma after the first name, the word and, and then write the other author's first name and then their last name. If there are three or more authors, use the words et al after the first author's name. Et al is a Latin phrase that means and others, and it replaces the other author's names. After the author is the title of the article in quotations and a period. This is written in title case, which means all major words are capitalized. Then the journal title is written in italics, comma, volume number, abbreviated VOL, period, comma, the issue number, abbreviated NO, period, comma, the year of publication, comma, and then the page numbers of the article, period. The page range of the article follows the abbreviated PP, period, which stands for pages plural. Then the name of the database is listed in italics. The database name can be found at the top of the page when searching. Then add a comma and the DOI. Magazine and newspaper articles follow a similar format. If articles do not have a DOI, include the URL or permalink instead, followed by the date that you accessed the article. Like journal articles, citation information for magazine and newspaper articles might be found at the top or at the bottom of the page. The format for citing a web page is the author's name and then the title in quotation marks. Then include the name of the website in italics, the publication date if available, comma, the URL, period, and the date that you access the website if applicable. If there is no author, begin the citation with the title. Put the title in quotation marks if it's a short work, such as an article, or italicize it if it's a longer work, such as a play, book, or TV show. For more details on creating citations, see the list of resources in the video description. Please don't hesitate to contact the library for additional assistance.